friends, it's Joyce from Morris Patch of Heaven Homestead. And today I wanted to show you the things that we ordered from Azure Standards for our prepper pantry. Um, even though we are in between um, pantries at this time, <laughs> it's still important to be prepping. And I wanted to show you the stuff I got from Azure Standard and also stuff that I got at the Dollar Tree. It's so important right now to be stocking up. So really guys, now's the time. Okay, here is our Azure Standard order. I'm gonna go through each item and show you what we have bought. And if you have never ordered from Azure Standards, I highly recommend it. Um, their items are high end items, um, non-GMO, organic, good, good quality items. Okay, I'm gonna start here in the back. We got organic cornmeal. We love to make cornbread, and the cornmeal in the store has been genetically modified. And if you watched my last video, I talked about what they are doing in the corn now so that it is causing men to go sterile. So we do not want any corn products <clears throat> from the grocery store that are not organic. We got the yellow corn masa here. It's gluten-free. Um, this is to make um, flour tor uh, corn tortillas, excuse me. Um, we like to make corn tortillas for Taco Tuesday. And again, that is an organic yellow corn masa because the stuff that you buy in the store has been genetically modified. Okay, this here is bread flour, <clears throat> organic bread flour. It's unbleached, which is what you want. You don't want the stuff in the store that's been bleached because, again, it's been bleached. <laughs> that should tell you. You just don't want that. So this is organic bread flour to make bread. Over here, I have... Um, California sushi rice. We love the sticky rice um, to make sushi with. Um, if you've never made sushi, guys, give it a try. It is amazing, and this rice is delicious. It's very aromatic. Yummy, yummy. This here is einkorn flour, one of the oldest flours out there. I have never used it before, but I have been watching different um, YouTube channels that have used it, and so I want to start making my sourdough um, bread with the einkorn flour. So I only got a five pound bag because I want to give it a try, but I hear it is absolutely delicious. Better for those that have gluten intolerance. So I am going to give that a try. Here is organic cocoa powder. It is that time of the year to start making hot chocolate. We don't buy the stuff from the store because it's full of sugar and the cocoa is not real cocoa powder. So this is going to last us a long time. Um, even though it's like a half pound bag, it, you don't need much when you're making hot cocoa. Here we have non-GMO golden raisins. I use these for my granola. So these are absolutely delicious. We used to have these in California all the time. I love the golden raisins. They're a little bit plump, more plump and juicy. Um, if you've never tried the golden raisins, <clears throat> excuse me, I highly recommend that. <coughs> Early morning here. Okay. I got pure baking soda. Some of the baking sodas on the market are, you know, stuff that they, you know, put stuff in. Always read labels, whatever you do. Um, so anyway, I got this. And then I also got um, baking powder that does not have aluminum in it. Be on the lookout, guys, when you're ordering baking powder because it's full of aluminum. You don't want that because then you're just adding aluminum to your baking products. Okay, here we have parchment paper. Let me back up here. These are um, for muffins. Um, they have not been bleached. And then here is parchment paper. We do not use aluminum foil because again, it's got aluminum in it. So parchment paper is good to take the place of aluminum foil. I have peppermint flavoring here because I love that for the holidays to add to different recipes. And this is a pure peppermint. Sometimes the stuff in the store is not the real thing. Um, go figure, huh? <laughs> Here we have organic arrowroot powder. That is a good thickening agent, and I also use it in our deodorant. So if you've never used 
arrowroot powder. Make sure you get the organic because some of the stuff um, that is not organic, again, has stuff in it that you don't want to be putting in your body. I have never tried the Spanish rice, organic Spanish rice. I usually make my own, but it just looked good. It was gluten-free. I thought, you know what? I love Lundberg's rice. I'm going to give that a try for a quick meal. That's just good to put on our shelf. All of these things that you see here will be going on the shelf. I do not need any of these right now, so I will be putting them away. Uh, this here are split peas. You know, split peas go a very long way. You can put some ham in it. You can have it just the way it is. It's wonderful for lunches, good for supper. Um, it's one of those stretching things because a little goes a long way, and that's what all of this is about. And here we have some Thai jasmine rice. It's purple. It's non-GMO. I have never tried this before, but it was intriguing to me at purple jasmine rice. We love Thai food, so I thought, I'm going to try that. Um, I may even mix it with some regular rice. Um, so we'll see. I'll let you know. Take you along. Right here we have more black beans. I have lots of black beans already. You can never have enough beans. And we love, love, love black beans. We like black bean chili. We love them just in burritos. Um, so that's just another thing to put on our shelf. Um, <clears throat> here we have rice puffs. These are one of Avonlea and Jean's favorite cereals. What I do is I take them and then I dredge them with honey, sometimes some cinnamon, and I bake them in the oven. So it's like those puff cereal that you get in the grocery store that has all these other ingredients in it. Um, I think it's called puffed rice. The one's honey puffed rice, I think. But anyway, so this is just exactly like it, except for this is organic, and I will just be adding raw honey to it, and it makes a delicious cereal. So after you've baked it, you let it cool down, and you stick it in a, you know, a storage container, and it can last for a very long time. Okay, I got some organic extra dark chocolate chunks. That is one of our favorites. We love, love, love dark chocolate. And this does not, this has been, um, <clears throat> it's this fair trade chocolate because some of the chocolate has, is not fair trade and they make those people work in conditions that are not acceptable. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, yeah, whenever you buy chocolate, make sure it's fair trade and it's organic because there's a lot of pesticides in chocolate that they have in the beans and stuff. So you really want to be, you know, looking for that. This is Celtic salt, sea salt. Um, it is more of a coarse salt for like making pretzels or, you know, just sprinkling on maybe a baked potato where you wouldn't need it as fine. Um, it's very, very yummy. It's full of minerals, really, really good salt. Here we got raw milk cheddar cheese. This, guys, is simply amazing. It is the best cheese ever. This entire log here was only, it's five pound log, a little over five pounds, was only $20. At our natural grocers, a piece this big, literally this big, we pay like five to seven dollars for, for raw cheese. When I saw this, I was like, oh yes, this is going to be good. So already, as you can tell, we had it on some pizza bread last night. We made non pizza bread, and this was what we use. It is so good. And we also love feta cheese. And so I have never tried Landmark feta cheese. I wanted to try that. Uh, it doesn't have any of the artificial additives, you know, and it says it's all vegetable enzymes, so that's a good thing. We love, love, love feta cheese on our salads. If you've never tried that, you need to give it a try. And I thought I'd try this little bar of Tazo chocolate. I've heard Tazo chocolate is supposed to be really good, and this is a toffee, almond, and sea salt. Oh my, what's not to love about those ingredients, right? <laughs> Sounded so good, mama needed some chocolate. Okay, and here I have the Ezekiel Sprouted Flourless Tortillas. If you have never tried these guys, these are the bomb. They are so delicious for making quesadillas. Um, you don't get very many in a pack, I have to say. Um, I think there might be five in here, maybe six, no, six. Yep, there we go, six count. I knew there wasn't very many in there because it is, this is a live grain, it's different. Um, in the Bible, it talks about Ezekiel bread, 
This is an Ezekiel tortilla and it gives those same ingredients. And I have to say, this by far is my favorite to make quesadillas. And what I do is I will put the butter in, the, in my cast iron pan. And then once that's melted, I will put my tortilla in there. And because you have to keep them frozen because it is, um, it's a live, um, it's a live product. This is live, so it will go bad in the refrigerator. It's going to spoil very quickly. So you put your tortilla in there that's frozen, um, and then you let it sit for a little bit until it kind of softens up. Then I will put my raw cheese in there, and then let it sit for a few minutes, and then flop it over like you would a quesadilla. And then I salt it a little bit because there's not a lot of, I don't think there's even any salt in here. So then I salt the outside of the tortilla a little bit. And boy, I'm telling you, it makes for the best quesadilla ever. Anyway, um, so that was my Azure Standard haul for this month. Um, this again is all going into the prepper's pantry. Um, as far as our prepper's pantry is concerned, it is tubs right now. <laughs> so we put it in Rubbermaid tubs with lids and stick it in our storage unit until we move. And then this will all go into our outdoor kitchen um, where we will have shelves and buckets and stuff. Um, but anyway, this is just stuff that we are going to put aside, except for, of course, the tortillas and the cheese and, and of course, the chocolate bar for mama. <laughs> but anyway, this is the haul for Azure Standard. I'm going to show you the haul that I got at the Dollar Tree as well. Um, if you have not started, you know, prepping, guys, do so now because things are starting to run out. Okay, so here is what I got at the Dollar Tree. Um, quite a bit of stuff. I have a lot of this already in storage, but... I thought I need to get more just because we have a large family and you never know, you know, if they're going to run out. They're saying that salt is going to be an issue. So if you are able, stock up on your salt. This is pink Himalayan salt, non-GMO. These bags go for almost $6 a piece at Walmart for this same one pound bag the exact same thing at Walmart is $6.84, I believe. It's a dollar at the Dollar Tree. I got 15 bags because, think about it, guys. What do beans and rice taste like when you do not have salt? They taste like nothing. Absolutely nothing. And your noodles? Nothing. Even your popcorn does not taste good without salt. So because they say that there's going to be a salt shortage, I thought I need to stock up and I will be getting even more. Okay, I got four bags of black beans. Like I said, I already ordered a bunch of black beans from, or I ordered black beans from Azure Standard and I have a bunch in storage. Um, but you know what? Beans go a long way. I got great northern beans because we love ham and beans. And you know that again is something that will fill the bellies. I got three bags of this Omega rice. It's long grain rice. It's perfect for fried rice dishes, whatever rice, you know, curry, you name it. Rice goes a long way. Make it. You can make anything with that. You can even make a rice pudding. And you know, these white beans can be made into chili. They don't have to be just ham and beans. They can be made into um, uh, pork and beans as well, um, the sweet beans. And then black beans, you know, are good for anything. For chili, like I was saying, black bean soup. We use it also for our taco soup. They are good for about anything. Okay, and then over here we've got Zolka brown sugar. I was so excited about this, guys. I could not believe it. This is non-GMO. This is like the um, organic cane crystals that we use, Zolka, for um, our regular sugar. And so this is brown sugar. They only had three bags, and I grabbed those because, you know, for one pound bag, non-GMO, certified organic, this was good. I was excited about that. Um, I got two big bottles of hydrogen peroxide. That is good for everything. 
We use this for cuts and scrapes and you name it. Hydrogen peroxide is a good mouthwash if you have something wrong with your mouth and um, it will take care of sores in the mouth. I got some um, spa soap. It's milk, let me see, what is it? Milk and honey. We don't usually use this stuff. This is a hand wash, but you know what? You never know when we may need that. I got some Suave Tropical Coconut Soap, shampoo, I mean, and conditioner. We don't usually use this, but it's only a dollar, and you know what? When push comes to shove, if there's no shampoo, we're gonna use it. Okay, and here was another coconut shea butter. I got one for the guys. This is a three-in-one for men. And then I got some um, Irish Spring. We usually make our own soap, but you know, if I can't make soap, we're gonna have to have soap. So I need to get a bunch more of that. Um, I got garlic. I have a whole bunch of this in storage, but every time I go, I'm gonna grab more because in case we did not have garlic, you know, and, you, and we go through so much garlic that we run out of it, so it's good to just have extra. And then I found these cranberries from Craisins. Um, again, these are a really good ocean spray. It's a good brand. I use these in our granola, and they're a good snack for the kiddos. And then I got some of this Longhorn Steakhouse um, grill seasoning. We absolutely love this. We have a Longhorn Steakhouse in town, or I should say in Joplin, not in town, but that seasoning is amazing. The kids really love it. Okay, and I got lots of noodles, as you can see here. We got some rotini for um, pasta salads. We got penne, which we love with, um, uh, Jedediah loves to make a, uh, gosh, I can't even think of it right now, fettuccine alfredo, there we go. And he likes to use, oh, this is a rotini, here we go. He likes to use penne noodles. Um, I know they all taste the same, but they look a little different. Um, and then we got a ton of the macaroni noodles because that is good with cheese, that's good with um, making a hamburger, you know, macaroni. You can use it for everything. Um, we even use the uh, elbow macaroni to have like over chili, chili over the noodles. It just works wonderfully. So, and then I got some of this non-GMO popcorn. Can you believe it, guys? There's actually such a thing still. It is so hard to find popcorn that is non-GMO, that isn't made with, the, you know, the genetically modified corn, which is so bad for you. So look for that for 99 cents at the, or a dollar at the Dollar Tree. I mean, can you believe that? It's still available. So I am going to, they only had two bags because it goes very quickly. But every time they have it, I'm just gonna grab a few because popcorn, again, is a filler. And along with the salt, and you could even add cranberries to it, you would have a wonderful snack for yourself and your children. Um, but yeah, this was our Dollar Tree haul rice and beans and noodles and salt popcorn, um, some shampoo and soap, brown sugar. I mean, I think we did really good. The total was not very much. Really, if it's a dollar a piece, you can kind of do the math. Um, I did not keep the receipts. So I'm not exactly sure, but I know it was way under $100, maybe even under 50. There might be 50 items. But anyway, guys, this again is a Prepper's Hall, you all need to do this. If you have a Dollar Tree around, I think everybody has some sort of, you know, dollar store. Stock up on the stuff, guys. We may need it one of these days. Okay, guys, um, that was our Azure Standard and Dollar Tree Hall for um, this month. I don't even know if it's gonna be this month. I think every time I put a little bit of extra money aside, um, I go and I run and I get more just because you have a large family. I have a lot of boys. They eat a lot. Um, and it's important to be able to feed bellies. Things are getting a little crazy, so it's good to know that there's still some stuff available. Um, grocery stores are getting empty. The Dollar General is really looking, you know, low on things. So if you are able you know, to get noodles and rice and beans, stock up and guys, get salt because they're saying there's gonna be a shortage of salt. And I'm telling, I'm not exactly sure why, but you know how that goes. Um, 
food does not taste good without salt and get your seasonings because if you wanted to season up something, you know, we can still cook on cast iron outside over an open fire if there was no electricity, um, but we need to be able to season it because, you know, food without salt is just not very tasty and then you won't eat it. So stock up on it, get yourself some garlic, you know, different seasonings that you can get. This stuff here, like I was saying, the Longhorn Steakhouse Grill Seasoning, this can go on everything. We put it on potatoes and veggies just because it's a steak, you know, a, well, it doesn't say it's a steak, but it's a grill seasoning. It doesn't have to go with just grilled items. It can even go with your eggs. It tastes so good. And there are certain seasonings like that. And that was a dollar. So I know if I got it at the steakhouse, it would have been a lot more. But anyway, guys, do your prepping. I know I was watching a channel the other day and they said it's too late. It's not too late. You can still do so. Um, think about it. Start preparing, you know, a garden space. Get seeds. If you don't have seeds, start preparing, um, you know, picking up seeds if you can. If you get seeds that are on sale, I know after the end of the seasons, like at this time of the year, seeds go on sale for almost nothing. You can get them for 10 cents a pack. Stock up on seeds as well because you're going to need to be growing food. That is another way, you know, to fill those bellies. Learn to forage as well. But anyway, um, this is just what we have done or what I have done for um, the last week. And I want to share that with you. Our Azure Standard order usually is once a month. Um, so I'm gonna keep, you know, getting stuff from them as we are able um, and as it comes in because some stuff may not be coming in. So get what you can and don't be picky. Just take what it is that you can to fill bellies. But I hope that you are all doing well I'm going to end for now. If you have not subscribed, we ask that you please do so. We know that a lot of our viewers are not subscribed and we ask that you please do so. It really helps the channel and give us a thumbs up guys because that helps our channel as well. It lets us know that you enjoy our videos and push that notification bell and you will be notified when we have another video up. Um, that way you can continue to follow us and we so appreciate each and every one of you. And we thank all of our new subscribers and we welcome you on board. The journey is going to get real here soon, <laughs> but now it's time to really get serious about preparing that prepper's pantry. So with that being said, I'm going to end. God bless you, and we'll talk to you on the next one. Bye.